Welcome everybody, this is Alan with Daily Armor of God. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you're all doing well. This is reading General Epistles in Revelation 10 Days. We're on day 5. Today we'll be reading 2 John, 3 John, and Jude. So as in John's first epistle that we just read yesterday, uh, John's second epistle, uh, again, contains a warning against uh, godless teachers, false doctrines, and heretics who deny... Christ's resurrection the Sadducees uh, in particular and people who believe what the Sadducees believe and Sadducees believe that there is no resurrection that when you die you're dead you stay dead there is no afterlife there's no heaven there's no hell you just cease to exist kind of like what atheists believe you know what atheists believe today um, that you just cease to exist there's nothing after nothing before yada 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 so he's he's telling a warning about that uh third john is also uh telling people to have hospitality and love toward fellow believers fellow saints and how we are to demonstrate that love for one another jude is about well jude is jesus christ's half brother and he also urges us to esteem God's word and not fall prey to, uh, to perverted teachings and doctrines of false teachers, wolves in sheep's clothing, and to keep sound doctrine and faith. And how do we keep sound doctrine? By being in the word every day. That's how we could keep sound doctrine. Not only does reading the word uh, help us with so many things, but it also um, you know, refreshes what we've already read, helps us remember what we already read, keeps it in our heart and in our mind. So that's why it's so important. And that way, if we come across false doctrine or false teachings by whomever we encounter in our life, we could say, well, you know what? I believe in the word, the word of God, the Holy Bible, not man's teachings. I believe in the Bible. I'm a Bible believer. So and that's what I am. I believe what's written in the word. I believe that God preserved his word and, and I trust God's word. So that's why we all should be reading the Bible for ourselves and not be reading commentary or people's interpretations, but read it for ourselves. So there was a time in history when uh, reading the Bible for yourself was outlawed. You'd be put to death if you were to have a copy of Bible or to read the Bible. So the fact that we can, even though right now Christians are being severely persecuted against now more than ever, across the world uh, right now we have the freedom depending on where you're at but right now in the u.s we have freedom to read a bible to own a bible so that's why we should be using that time to familiarizing ourselves with the bible in case not in case until that day comes when reading the bible and or possessing a bible will become illegal or anything like that we should be hiding god's word in our heart like uh like in psalm david hiding god's word in our heart so if we don't have a physical bible at least we'll have what's in our head and our mind and our heart so anyway second john and there's only one chapter so chapter one verse one the elder unto the elect lady and her children whom i love in the truth and not only i but also all they that have known the truth for the truth's sake which dwelleth in us and shall be with us forever grace be with you mercy and peace from god the father and from the lord jesus christ the son of the father in truth and love i rejoice greatly that i found of thy children walking in truth as we have received a commandment from the father and now i beseech thee lady not as though i wrote a new commandment unto thee but that which we had from the beginning that we love one another and this is love that we walk after his commandments this is the commandment that ye that as ye have heard from the beginning, ye should walk in it. For many deceivers are entered into the world, who confess not that Jesus Christ is come into the flesh. This is a deceiver, and an antichrist. Look to yourselves, that we lose not to those things which we had wrought, but that we receive a full reward. Whosoever transgresseth, and abideth not in the doctrine of Christ, hath not God. He that abideth in the doctrine of Christ, he hath both the Father and the Son, if there come any unto you, and bring not this doctrine, receive him not into your house, neither bid him God speed. For he that biddeth him God speed is a partaker of his evil deeds. Having many things to write unto you, 
I would not write with paper and ink, but I trust to come unto you and speak face to face that our joy may be full. The children of thy elect sister greet thee. Amen. And what a very, very short epistle, but full of truth. I mean, John, what did he say here? He said to have love. To walk in the commandments that we have been walking in. And to beware of false doctrine, false teachings. And um, basically that false teaching is one that's not, um, that, that, that doesn't recognize Christ as God. Third John, the elder unto the well-beloved Gaius, whom I love in the truth. Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health, even as thy soul prospereth. For I rejoice greatly when the brethren came and testify of the truth that is in thee, even as thou walkest in the truth. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. Beloved, thou doest faithfully whatsoever thou doest to the brethren and to strangers, which have borne witness of thy charity before the church, whom, if thou bring forward on their journey after a godly sort, thou shalt do well, because that for his name's sake they went forth, taking nothing of the Gentiles. We therefore ought to receive such that we might be fellow helpers of the, to the truth. I wrote unto the church, but Diotrephus, who loveth to have the preeminence among them, receiveth us not. Therefore, if I come, I will remember his deeds which he doeth, prating against us with malicious words, and not content therewith. Neither doth he himself receive the brethren, and forbiddeth them that, that, that would, and cast them out of the church. Beloved, fall not that which is evil, but that which is good. He that doeth good is of God, but he that doeth evil hath not seen God. Demetrius hath good report of all men, and of the truth itself. Yea, and we also bear record, and ye know that our record is true. I had many things to write, but I will not with ink and pen write unto thee, but I trust I shall shortly see thee, and we shall speak face to face. Peace be to thee, our friends salute thee, greet the friends by name. And Jude, chapter 1. Jude, the servant of Jesus Christ and brother of James, to them that are sanctified by God and the Father, and preserved in Jesus Christ and called. Mercy unto you, and peace and love be multiplied. Beloved, when I gave all diligence to write unto you of the common salvation, it was needful for me to write unto you, and exhort you that ye should earnestly contend for the faith which was once delivered unto the saints. For there are certain men crept in unawares, who were before of old ordained to this condemnation, ungodly men, turning the grace of our God into lavishness, and denying the only Lord God and our Lord Jesus Christ. I will therefore put you in remembrance, though ye once knew this, how that the Lord, having saved the people of the land of Egypt, afterward destroyed them that believed not. And the angels which kept not their first estate, but left their own habitation, he hath reserved into everlasting chains under darkness unto the judgment of the great day. Even as Sodom and Gomorrah and the cities about them in like manner, giving themselves over to fornication, and going after strange flesh, are set forth for an example, suffering the vengeance of eternal fire. Likewise also these filthy dreamers defile the flesh, despise dominion, and speak evil of dignities. Yet Michael the archangel, when contending with the devil, he disputed about the body of Moses, durst not bring against him a rallying accusation, but said, The Lord rebuke thee. But these speak evil of those things which they know not, but what they know naturally as brute beasts, and those things they corrupt themselves. Woe unto them, for they have gone the way of Cain, and ran greedily after the error of Balaam, for reward, and perished in the gainsaying of Kor. These are spots in your feasts of charity, when they feast with you, feeding themselves without fear. Clouds they are without water, carried about of winds, trees whose fruit wherewith withereth without fruit, twice dead, plucked up by the roots, raging waves of the sea, foaming out of their own shame, wandering stars to whom is reserved the blackness of darkness forever. And Enoch also, the seventh from Adam, prophesied of these, saying, Behold, the Lord cometh with ten thousands of his saints, to execute judgment upon all, and to convince all that are ungodly among them of all their ungodly deeds which they have ungodly committed, and of all their hard speeches which ungodly sinners have spoken against him. These are murmurers, complainers, walking after their own lusts, and their mouth speaketh great swelling words, having men's persons in admiration because of advantage. But, beloved, 
Remember ye the words which were spoken before the apostles of our Lord Jesus Christ, how that they told you there should be mockers in the last time, who should walk after their own ungodly lusts. These be they who separate themselves, sensual, not having the spirit. But ye, beloved, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost, keep yourselves in the love of God, looking for the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ unto eternal life. And some have compassion, making a difference. And others, save with fear, pulling them out of the fire, hating even the garments spotted by the flesh. Now unto him that is able to keep you from falling, and to present you, present you faultless before the presence of his glory with exceeding joy, to the only wise God our Savior, be glory and majesty, dominion and power, both now and ever. Amen. Amen to that. There's some, uh, there's some great verses here. Great verses. Basically what we read yesterday about not being in the world, not being of the world. Same thing here. We don't want to be part of the people who are, are like this, ungodly men. And we see that a lot today. We see all this, defile the flesh, despise dominion, and, um, you know, they, they corrupt themselves, they corrupt others. We see that so much today, don't we? It's just sickening to see all the stuff going on uh, in the news and, and the media and everything. It's just sickening. And even say all the stuff that's going on and all the injustice that's going on and all the disgusting, disturbing things going on. So that's why we have to be in the word daily. We don't want to, uh, we don't want to taint our minds, so to speak, with the world, what's going on in the world. We want to be in the word because all that negativity can and will affect our thinking. Um, as Christians, we can't be demon possessed we can't be possessed because we're sealed with the holy spirit of promise but you know what we can be we can be oppressed we certainly can be oppressed and there's a spiritual war going on all around us and so there there could be demons near us at different times um and they could oppress us make us feel sick make us feel helpless make us feel dependent make us feel depressed um whatever it may be tempt us but that's why we need to be in the word, flee, flee all of that, and just try to pour our hearts out to God daily, be in the word daily, and be with fellow uh, saints, which is hard nowadays. Uh, having fellowship with uh, fellow saints is important. Um, and, you know, iron sharpeneth iron, being near them, being near like-minded individuals, um, who believe in the word that can build each other up and that's what fellowship is all about so that's why we need to to stick together so to speak so we don't uh, fall prey to being oppressed by the negativity and darkness of this world and the main way we can uh, avoid that is by being in the word daily being in prayer daily so all right it's uh short day today but thanks for joining me hope you guys have a great evening morning noon wherever you're at remember to put god first in everything you do have faith in him trust in him and wait upon him and you'll never be sorry so we'll see you tomorrow god willingly with well we already read all the general epistles so what's next is revelation but god willingly we'll see you tomorrow thanks again and take care